Yo guys, I finally did it. Extinction has been beaten with all 10 relics for the first time ever. This game came out more than 10 years ago and only now has this challenge finally been beaten. For people that don't know what relics are, let me introduce them real quickly. If you are familiar with the skulls in Halo 2, it's pretty much the same thing. They are game modifiers that you can turn on to make the game a lot more difficult. And in turn, you get an increased amount of score while playing the game. The game developers, however, probably never intended all 10 relics to be turned on at the same time. You literally can't do anything. Here are all of the relics with their effect. These three relics in particular make it so extremely hard. First we have Mortal, which disables my class. Then we have No Machines, which disables all turrets and other machines. And then we have the hardest relic in the game, Earn Your Keep. This disables ammo and support items, and I also can't search. These three relics together completely disable the loadout you normally totally rely on. The other relics basically just make you really weak and fragile. Stand your ground makes me really slow. Fragile makes it so I barely regen any HP. I also take more damage, I do less damage. I can only use my pistol. Luckily the pistols in this game are kinda decent. But because of limited ammo and smaller wallet, I have to be really careful I don't run out of ammo. So yeah, running all 10 relics makes this game stupidly hard. It's actually impossible. But then two years ago, Eric Barnes discovered an extremely cool and complicated glitch. It's called a half mortal glitch and past me explains it perfectly. Uh, it's actually impossible. Um, but with this thing right here. My Xbox 360 from back in the day. I managed to do a glitch. Uh, by using day one edition of the game, I could override one of my mortal classes. So normally this relic removes both of your classes. Uh, but I managed to override one of them. And uh, so now I can choose one class instead of two. And the one class that I chose is tank. Because tank gives me a flare. And the flare is fucking crucial for the last hive. You will see why. Um, so yeah, 10 relics. And a dream. So with the half mortal glitch, I can choose one class. This makes the game a bit more easy, but the final area is still extremely hard. I have tried all the classes, but the final hive in the map is just too difficult. I figured that the only way to survive the final hive was to cheese the hell out of it. To do that, I need the flare the tank class has as a starting item. So with the half mortal glitch set up and my class chosen, I started grinding attempts and testing a lot of strategies and setups. And in the end, it resulted in this run. The first area of this map is very easy, since it's supposed to be an introduction to the game mode. So I'm gonna go over it real quick. I need to destroy 4 hives by placing a drill next to it. Aliens will spawn and try to destroy the drill and also me. If the drill dies or I die, it's game over. Very simple stuff. In the first area, only scouts spawn, which don't deal too much damage and are pretty easy to kill. Every hive I destroy, I get a skill point, and an additional skill point by completing a challenge. These skill points can be used to make yourself stronger. I can actually use these skill points on my half mortal tank class, which is very important. By doing this, I can increase my melee damage and also increase my HP bar. This will help a lot, especially in the last area. This also upgrades my tank special ability. I can use this ability to make myself invincible for 10 seconds and also increase my melee damage by 25%. This is going to be crucial for survival later. When tank is max upgraded, I also upgrade my pistol to get a bit more damage and ammo. I complete the first area and I arrive at the first barrier hive. This is a big hive blocking the way which needs to be shot down by helicopter. Here the game also introduces scorpions that try to shoot the helicopter from a distance. I have to kill these scorpions to protect the helicopter so it can do its job. Scorpions are probably the hardest enemies to deal with. They attack from range and my melee and pistol are both very short range. And on top of that I'm extremely slow. To survive this I'm going to use a mounted turret. There are a lot of traps and turrets around the map that I can use and often they are more cost efficient than my pistol. So I kill a lot of stuff with the turret and in the meantime the helicopter destroys the barrier hive. I do almost die here and I have to use my tank ability, but the helicopter eventually managed to destroy the barrier hive before I take it down. Now I can enter the second area, but the difficulty is going to increase. And I also get a second self revive for getting to this point. 
Normally, after a hive ends, you have one minute to get to the next hive before aliens start to spawn and kill you. So normally, I make sure to move the drill within one minute. But for some reason, the developers made it so that after a barrier hive, you have two hours before stuff starts to spawn in. They probably did it so you have all the time you need to check out the next area. And I'm definitely going to take advantage of this. In the second area, there are propane tanks. You can shoot these propane tanks to make them explode and deal a lot of damage. They can be very useful, so I really want to use them in the third area, since it's way more difficult than the second area. But you are supposed to use them in the second area, because all the propane tanks in the second area disappear after the second barrier hive is destroyed. But the developers just missed a tiny detail. Since the aliens aren't going to spawn for 2 hours, I'm just going to move all the propane tanks from the second area to the first area. This way they won't get removed and I can save them for later. This takes a lot of time, but to beat this impossible challenge, I'm going to use anything I can get my hands on. With a big pile of propane tanks set up, I'm now ready for the second area. Here I have to destroy 3 hives. During the first hive in this area, the game introduces hunters. These are basically scouts, but with 4 times more HP and damage. They can definitely be a problem, but for now there aren't that many, so it's still very manageable. On the next hive, the first seekers start to spawn. These guys just run up to you and explode, dealing a lot of damage. I have a big HP bar, but my HP generation is very slow, so I really have to avoid taking big damage. Luckily these guys only spawn from meteors, which make a lot of noise when they fall on the map, so I'm always aware that they are coming. My melee attack is useless on them, but my pistol is strong enough to take care of most of them. The last hive at one moment became a bit challenging. I had to use my tank ability to save the drill, and then this happened. Whoa, did you see that Seeker? He glitched through the wall and exploded through the wall and because of that I took no damage. Otherwise I might have died. That Seeker glitching through the wall was fucking epic. So yeah, I was very lucky and managed to survive. It's very rare for a Seeker to go through the wall like that. But this gets me to the second barrier hive. It's the same thing as before, but now there are also Hunters and Seekers that try to kill me. To survive this, I go all the way back to the first area. Everything spawns in the second area, so it takes longer for the aliens to get to me. Also, if the scorpions follow me to the first area, they are too far away from the helicopter and they can't shoot it. So the helicopter can do its job without any problems. So I just have to focus on surviving and getting to the last area with all my self revives. But with this location and the mounted turret, it goes quite well. The second barrier hive gets destroyed and I get access to the third area. This is where the real challenge begins. There are going to be a lot less scouts and a lot more hunters. And in this area, rhinos will also spawn. When I enter the third area, I get a quick sneak peek at one of them. These guys are fully plated in armor and have the health of 30 scouts. They also deal a lot of damage and don't care about the drill at all. They just want to murder me. In the third area, there are 5 hives and I have planned out all of them. There will be 3 rhinos and I know exactly where and when they will spawn and how to kill them. They are still very hard to kill and they can easily destroy me, but hopefully everything goes according to plan. But first I have to get all the propane tanks and prepare for this area. These propane tanks will help a lot in dealing with the rhinos. I place 8 propane tanks in this spot and I take 5 of them all the way to the third area. Now I'm ready to start. I stretch and I pray, because from now on there will be no rest until the very end. The first hive in the third area is hard, but a bit easier than the next few hives. So I start with one of the most difficult hive locations. To make surviving this area a bit easier, I'm gonna try to set up a scout on the drill. Scouts still spawn for now, and since they are a lot weaker than the hunters, I just let one of them get on the drill. Only one alien can attack the drill at a time, so now hunters can't attack the drill anymore. I will definitely have to repair the drill at some point, but that's a lot better than having a hunter completely destroy it. Also, when there is a scout on the drill, there is a bug that can happen. If a hunter was targeting the drill when the scout got on the drill, the hunter does not know what to do. It will try to attack the drill, but it can't because it's already occupied. Then he will walk away and try to attack the drill again. This is the best case scenario, since now I have to deal with less hunters. This is really inconsistent, but if it works, it's really nice. 
If I just don't hit the hunters and don't get in their way, they should keep doing this. Now I can focus on the scorpions and seekers and also prepare for the first rhino that is going to spawn at the halfway point of this hive. I make sure that drills are bad before he spawns, but I do it a bit too late and the rhino is already spawning. I run away so I can do a 1v1 with the rhino, but unfortunately one of the hunters also starts attacking me. This is a bit problematic, but I'm gonna try to do my best. Some secrets right there that I have to take care of as well. See if we can get a few of them. Go to my favorite spot here, scorpions can't really hit me, so that's nice. Oh my god. Using my tank ability because otherwise the hunter uh, rhino would have killed me. Jumping to the window because the rhino can't. Oh my god, there was a seeker behind me. I didn't notice at all. Okay, uh, one down, but that's fine. I can take one down, I just need to not take any more downs. Taking it down on the first hive is very bad. After I finish all the hives, I also need to escape the map. The escape is really hard, and there will be many of those unkillable rhinos. I've practiced the escape a lot, and I always take two downs. This means I can't die anymore, otherwise I don't have enough self revives for the escape. So from now on, I have to play perfectly. On this next dive, there is at least not going to be another rhino. Somehow, I get super lucky, and again there is another scout on the trail, and both hunters are trying to attack it. Since there is no rhino, this hive suddenly gets really easy. I just have to kill the scorpions and seekers and repair the drill whenever necessary. It goes very smoothly and now I get to the third hive. This is a very hard hive. It's longer than the other hives and there will be a rhino near the end. When it spawns I'm going to deal a lot of damage to it with these propane tanks. I chose this hive location because for some reason it's really consistent in setting up a scout on the drill. So I do exactly that and now I just have to take care of the scorpions and the seekers. But then everything went terribly wrong. Oh my god, I shot the propane tanks. I want to shoot the seeker. Oh, that's so bad. How did I do that? Fuck me. Oh, now I don't have to propane tanks for the rhino and the scout and the hunter. The whole strat is all is gone. I hope a new scout spawns soon to take the old one's place. Okay, there's another scout. Scout, please go on the drill. Thank you. And let me repair the drill real quick. Okay, I managed to reset it up real quickly, so that's nice. I'm gonna I'll try to kill the rhino without dying. Oh my god. Fuck! Oh man, how could I shoot those propane tanks on accident? That's so bad. That totally messed me up. I just wanted to kill the seeker. Yeah, I'm getting fucked now. Yeah, I, I can't do it anymore guys, I took too many times. Somehow I managed to get out of that disaster while only taking one down. But since the escape requires two self revives, I knew the run was over. I was only one hive away from the final hive, so I decided to keep playing, to practice and show off the strats. So to the next hive I go. From now on there are no more scouts, so I can't use the scout on the drill strat anymore. So I just have to kill everything before it kills me or the drill. It's also why I saved this hive location for last, since I think it's one of the easiest. 
Scorpions can only hit me if they come inside of the cabin, and if they do, they are close enough for me to kill them. There is also an ammo buy spot in a really nice location. Since there was no RNG elements and no rhino, I got really consistent at this hive. And this run as well, I finished the hive without any problems. Now it's time for the final hive. This hive is literally impossible. The location is terrible and can't be changed. It's twice as long as any other hive and there will be a rhino. So it's time to cheese the hell out of it. I saved the flare all game for this moment. And past me is gonna explain the plan perfectly. So normally what I do is I throw a flare so the aliens are attracted to the flare. And then I can place a drill and run to the, the second area. And because the aliens are uh, attracted to the flare and not to the drill, they will follow me and not attack the drill. And then I can run to the second area without any aliens ever going for the drill. So that's the plan. Um, the problem is that if the scorpions also follow me, I don't make any chance of survival because the scorpions will just fuck me up. Uh, but there is a, it's a coin flip for any scorpion to follow me or go for the drill. And because there's two scorpions, uh, I have to, uh, only a 25% chance to be safe, which is very low. But I figured out a strat um, where I kill the scorpions. And because I kill them, they respawn and they won't target me. Um, but if they respawn like right there, they do target me. But the chance of them respawning there is quite low. So I figured that killing them has a better chance of success. Like, not all of my runs where I killed them were a success, but all of them were in my test. So uh, let's see let's see what happens. I threw the flare, so now I can place the drill. And the aliens are attracted to the flare and not the drill, so that's good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kill the scorpions. At least this one, because I don't see the other one. What the fuck is that other scorpion? It better not follow me, man. Okay, so I don't think a scorpion followed me, so that's great. So now I just have to get into the spot. Okay, let's get in the spot. And that's it. That's how we do the final hive. So now the, the hunters will pile up underneath me. And the seekers that are going to spawn in will do that as well. And the scorpions right now are trying to attack the, the drill. I wish I could show it. They are like jumping around the drill. But they can't shoot it because I'm not in the area. Uh, so it's really funny. They're just jumping around. And uh, yeah, the, since the scorpions are the only thing that can hit me right here. I don't have to worry about it. And the uh, hunters and seekers will all pile up underneath me. Except for that one. But that's fine. Problem is that the hunter is going to spawn. And uh, uh, a rhino, I mean. And the rhino can hit me. But that's what these propane tanks are for. I'm so happy I can finally show this off. Wow. Oh, I'm so sad I took it down, man. If I didn't, this could have been the run. But uh, I'm regening HP, which is really important because the Rhino is going to spawn very soon. I'm not ready for it. The Rhino is going to spawn right over there. God, the strat is so beautiful. Yeah, man. It finally worked. I'm so happy. Okay, there comes the Rhino. Normally he's going to stand right there and he's going to slam me. And as soon as he does, I'm going to use my tank ability. He's first chilling though, so I'm, I'm good with that. I'm regening HP. As the longer he takes, the better. Okay, but there he goes. So now I'm going to make the pain tanks explode. 
gonna blast his face with double wield cracks. And this should kill him. There we go. I've, I've tested this so much, guys, you don't wanna know. I have to kill the hunters as well, otherwise they will follow me on top. And we set up the glitch again. There we go. That's perfect. Okay, and now we can just wait out the hive. Now we're chilling. So by doing the runaway strategy with the flare, I managed to take the hunters with me and leave the scorpions behind. This allowed me to use this glitch bot on the ladder, and after killing the rhino, I could just wait out the rest of the hive. Now it's time for the escape. I had practiced it so many times, and knew I needed two downs. I pretty much already accepted that I was gonna fail, but I was definitely gonna try. Okay, escape time. So, my strat. Uh, I, have, I have a strat. I've practiced this a lot. I'm gonna activate the nuke, then there's gonna be a hunter right here. And to damage that hunter, uh, that rhino. Uh, the rhino, for some reason, always climbs over this fence. So I'm going to turn on this trap. It will help. Then there is going to be scorpions, two of them. They are here. And uh, I'm going to turn on this trap so they take damage as well. I'm going to try to kill the scorpions because they are the biggest problem. Then I'm going to use my tank ability to kill the first uh, rhino. Then I'm going to run. And uh, then I'm just going to run. It's going to just be a fucking beeline for the helicopter. <laughs> because I can't kill all of it. If I try to kill shit, I will just get overwhelmed. But for some reason, this first few enemies, they don't respawn if I kill them. So that's why I'm killing these first things. And I'm just going to fucking beeline it. So turn on this trap. Turn on this trap as well. Make sure to take no fall damage by landing on this barrel. Let's go. Regen my sprint, so I'm not sprinting for 4 seconds, so I have 4 seconds of sprint as soon as I start sprinting. Okay. Okay, there we fucking go guys. Come on! Come on, let's do this! Okay, let's kill these scorpions. go that went very good very well I should say okay there we go that's one dealt with. I also have a strat for this next one. Um, I'm going to spawn it in. And then I'm going <laughs> to uh, run away again. I can hit it for a bit. Oh fuck. Don't want to take too much damage. Okay, that's the second Rhino. I can hit it for uh, two bullets. Oh fuck, I fell down. So I always buy ammo here. Oh fuck it, it's going the other direction. Oh shit, okay. If we do this then. Okay, so now we just beeline for the for the exit. So sometimes because I'm really far away from the rhino right now, uh, it starts to walk. That's what I want. If it starts to walk, I'm good. It looks like it's walking. So these scorpions are the biggest problem. They do so much damage to me. Okay, turn on these traps. To damage the rhino a bit. As you can see, my tank ability is almost ready again. Uh, so that's really good. Fucking hunter. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now I can hopefully... Oh, I didn't get that far. I was hoping to get further. Anyway, now I just fucking beeline it. This meteor is gonna go away right now, normally. Hell, hell yeah. Oh shit, I can maybe do this, guys. I'm so close. 
Okay, I just need to get to the fence. To the fence, to the fence, to the fence. Come on! I'm doing it! Activate tank! Come on! I'm so close! Come on! I'm gonna walk behind the fence, maybe that distracts the rhino. Oh, come on! Fuck you! Holy shit! Fuck oh, yes! I was so not expecting to make this. Normally I get my ass beat by the rhinos. But I think because I took it down right there, the rhinos like went the other way for a second. And it couldn't follow me uh, that fast into the first area. And I didn't get like completely demolished by the rhinos, so I fucking did it. Holy shit, the first 10 rally completion. Hell yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Holy shit, I didn't expect to do this, man. I, I was expecting to take it way more attempts. Hell yeah, let's crack open a cold one. So yeah, somehow I was able to complete the first 10 rally run. I grind like crazy the past two weeks, but me and Eric have been trying to beat this for the past two years. I know I kinda use 9.5 relics with half motor glitch, but 10 relics is literally impossible, so this is as close as it's gonna get. This was by the way the easiest map in the game, but I'm probably gonna try this again on the other maps as well. So make sure to subscribe if you wanna see it. I'm a very small YouTuber and I would really appreciate it. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.